Ghosts are already terrifying, but they're even scarier when they're young. From the black-eyed girl of Canuck Chase to a creepy encounter at the home of Jake Paul, these are five terrifying ghost girls caught on camera. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Number five, the black-eyed girl. Oh, hold on. You, my black-eyed girl. If you don't know what went down in Canuck Chase Staffordshire in 1967, you're gonna wish nobody ever tells you. Well, bad luck. In Canuck Chase Staffordshire in 1967, seven-year-old Christine Darby was brutally murdered in an act of insane violence by all-around unpleasant fellow Raymond Leslie Morris, a man who was already the prime suspect in the disappearance of two other young girls in the same area. Ever since then, an urban myth about the girls has significantly grown in the area. For a long time, now, it's been believed that the woods of Canuck Chase are haunted by many young girls, all murdered by Raymond. If you ever want to see the ghost of a young girl, I don't know why you would, but I'm not here to judge, this is the place to go. Now, let's jump ahead to modern day. The crew of YouTube Haunted Finders, who, as you might be able to guess, often hit up haunted spots in the hope of grabbing video evidence of spooky goings on, decided to make their way to Canuck Chase. Would they find evidence of the spirit of poor Christine Darby, or maybe? Maybe one of the other girls? Whether they did or didn't is up for debate, but they certainly grabbed something. As you can see, for the briefest of moments, a strange figure looms, gently glowing in the distance. Is this the ghost of a young Darby? The Haunted Finders team certainly thinks so. Though the footage ends with the strange glowing figure standing in the far distance, the Haunted Finders team claim that once the camera was turned off, the creepy girl chased them, throwing rocks at them before saying, we're watching. Huge if true. And if true, it's a shame they never managed to catch that final portion of the event on camera. Either way, that ghostly glowing presence is definitely of significance. What do you think? Is this our first real evidence of the black-eyed girl of Canuck Chase, or is it nothing substantial at all? Time for the star topic. Uh, wait a minute, ghosts can swim? Uh, let me get something straight. So not only do we have to face the reality of having them on land, but now while we take a calm swim? Just take a look at this image we found and tell me that what you see here isn't some sort of ghost girl entity swimming. Just look at the kids' reactions too. Priceless. So let me pass the question on to you. Do you think this image is real or some sort of photo manipulation? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we will pin the comment with the most creative answers. Number four, conversations with Emma. Maybe I'm just saying this because you guys have only ever heard my voice and not seen my face, but some of the most interesting things in the world are audio only. One such example is this strange and haunting encounter two amateur ghost sleuths had with the ghost of a young girl called Emma. This clip from Destination America comes from an episode of Paranormal Lockdown. In the clip, ghost hunters Nick and Katrina start asking questions in a big empty house when they are the only two people there. And why? Well, because they've been told that the ghost of a young girl called Emma has been haunting the house for just over 100 years. Nick and Katrina want to chat with Emma. However, there are no responses to their questions, so they've failed, right? Think again, because Nick and Katrina have some kind of audio recording device. I don't know the exact name because I, I record my voice for these videos with magic. When they play the tape back, they don't just hear their question, they hear answers that they didn't hear in the moment. The ghost of poor young Emma replying and talking to them. Could it be that the ghost of Emma is true? Is she really answering their questions, but her voice is only audible when recorded? It's a lot to unpack. Let us know what you think. Do you know of any other stories of ghosts only being noticed in audio recordings? We'd love to find out more on that subject. Who knows, if enough of you comment, we may even make a whole video about it. Number three, Ghost on the Road. We don't know where this footage came from. It's kind of a common thing with videos of this nature. People dump them online, not exactly explaining who they are or where the footage came from. Now, obviously, the skeptical viewpoint you could take is it's because they faked the footage, and by dumping it like this, they kind of get away without having to answer the onslaught of YouTube comments, desperately trying to pick it apart and figure out if it's real or not. But there is another explanation, an explanation we prefer. What if they were just too scared of their own footage? They knew they had to get it out there, so they chucked it up on online and then legged it from the channel so as to never look at the footage again. 
they already lived it once, they can't bear to watch it back. What if this clip is one such video? The footage is taken from the window of a car as it speeds down a road. The footage is so mysterious, we're not even sure what country this is, but for the briefest of moments, something strange can be seen loitering in the bushes. Based on how the car continues to drive on normally, we believe to the guests that the camera operator had no idea what they had seen. Not until later. With the help of slowing down and zooming in, we can see there's definitely something creepy loitering in the grass. Personally, I thought this was some kind of goblin creature, but many commenters on the original video said that they thought it was the warped ghost of a young girl who had been left abandoned in the area and died. What do you think? Number 2. Ghost in the Park so, while we don't exactly see the possible ghost in this video, what we do see is the results of its actions. This footage comes courtesy of a dad who thought he would take his kids out for a nice day at the park. It was sunny after all, so why not? But their little day out would not have made it on this list if things went swimmingly. Oh no, something noticeably weird went down. Upon arrival, something strange was happening in the park that grabbed his kids' attention and sent shivers down their spines. As you can see, it's a perfectly sunny day, there's no rain or wind. Well, then there's a question. If there's no wind, how's that swing swinging? And it's not just gently rocking as if someone pushed it and then ran away. Oh no, this thing is consistently rocking back and forth, swinging away. The kids are terrified. They didn't want to go anywhere near that park. Rather naturally, they jumped to the conclusion that the park was haunted by the ghost of a child who was playing on the swings. It's not an illogical leap, not at all. So what do you think might be going on here? Is there a little ghost girl having fun on the swings? Or is someone with telekinesis hiding in a nearby bush having some fun? Number 1. Jake Paul's Encounter it's not just us normal folks who may have run-ins with ghosts, celebrities can be victim to them as well. Back in March of 2019, the incredibly popular YouTuber Jake Paul had an encounter with the paranormal world. Whether you love him, hate him, or have no idea who he is because you're in your late 20s and had to research him for the sake of making this video, he is one of the biggest YouTube stars on the planet. So naturally, this clip got a lot of attention. So what went down? Paul claims that he woke up and walked into the kitchen where he felt an energy. To the best of our research, he hasn't quite specified what he meant by energy, but I'm sure we can all relate. We've all felt strange, unexplainable things, and Mr. Logan is no different. The next day, he decided to check the security footage and saw something rather chilling. As Paul walks into the kitchen, a transparent figure can be seen exiting the room on the other side. As it does, it appears to move the trash can. After re-watching the security footage, Paul realizes that the ghost can actually be seen following him all the way from his room, along the hallway, and then into the kitchen. Now, at no point in the video does he identify this ghostly figure as the ghost of a little girl, but we here at the Finest HQ think it might be. It's definitely feminine for sure, but its exact shape is unclear. It's kind of warped, its original human form tricky to make out. But given the need for attachment the ghost showcases, we jump to the conclusion that this ghost is a little on the younger side. Spooked by the incident, Paul decides to hire a ghost hunter to come and remove the entity from his house. I guess that's what riches bring you, the ability to waste money on a professional ghost hunter. That evening, the Ghost Hunter arrives and begins his investigation. He starts by reviewing the footage and then asks Paul some questions to better ascertain what might be going down. Firstly, the Ghost Hunter asks if he has ever done anything to provoke the spirit. Reluctantly, Paul admits that he played around with a Ouija board a few months earlier. Oh, Mr. Logan, you fool. You stupid fool. Accompanied by Paul and his friends, uh, friends, that must be nice, the Ghost Hunter begins searching the house in an attempt to locate the spirit. As they make their way along the upper floor, something suddenly smashes on the level below. Have they finally found the ghost of the girl? The ghost hunter heads downstairs to investigate as a chilling sound can be heard coming from the other room. Paul decides to review the footage to see if the camera caught anything strange. To everyone's amazement, a white, ghost-like figure can be seen floating across the room. The same figure. Now, it's worth noting that the Paul family has something of a reputation for pranking, japes, and that sort of thing. I'm sure we all remember when his brother faked his own death for YouTube likes. A disgusting thing that we would never do. So, rather naturally, when this video was first released, fans were incredibly divided on how seriously to take it. It surely had to be a hoax. However, we here at the Finest HQ, our head office is a giant building in the shape of a ghost being milked for content if you're interested, have a different theory. Now, if you're a fan of the Pauls, I apologize for 
for what I'm about to say is it may be a little mean, but hear me out. Jake Paul is not a talented man. He's popular, there's no denying that, but he's not talented. Yet throughout this clip, him and his equally untalented friends seem genuinely scared. This is what's convinced us that this may be a very genuine ghostly encounter. Because we just don't believe Jake Paul is a good enough actor to pull off seeming this scared. But what do you think? Genuine ghost or yet another Paul family hoax? Wait, who are you? How did you get into the recording booth? No! No! No, put down that axe! Put it down! No, please! No, oh, subscribe to save me! Hey, I'm Brian. I'll be doing the outro today because of, uh, complications. Uh, do, do you think any of these ghosts are real? Have you had a ghostly encounter of your own? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. We'll see you next time. Bada bing.